More than two years ago, 27 year old Philip Walton was shot and killed near the Park Hill housing complex in Louisville. Police still don't know who shot him and his family doesn't know why either. Heather Fontaine is taking us back to 2017 with this week's Crime Stoppers on the 19. I woke up to my niece and my daughter screaming over top of me. I thought I was in a dream. She said, Mama, they found Philip dead. And I just was like, what? I was frantic, hoping that, you know, that it wasn't him. Like, who is he with or what happened? There's just no words. Just no words. The devastating news was delivered in the early morning of June 4th, 2017. Philip Walton had been shot and killed around the Park Hill housing complex. Two years later, his mother still struggling with the worst day of her life. I, I couldn't be there to protect my child. Kenitra Walton rushed to Moore Court around one in the morning, blocked from his body by police lights and crime tape. I just wanted to go back there with my son, but of course I, I could not. She stood there for hours. It seemed like forever. I had um, family and friends that was there to comfort me while we waited. But she knew once the coroner came over, Philip was gone. And he never made it to the hospital. There are very few facts in this case. We do know Philip was found between two buildings. People around here heard the shots, but who pulled the trigger? There was a person that was there that said that, that they heard gunshots ring out and they just saw three guys and two had ran off and they saw my son hit the ground. At 25 years old, Philip was the oldest of six a father to three, and only 10 years younger than his auntie, Trenice Walton. It's my little brother, that's my little best friend. She fears this case has gone cold and can only be solved if someone comes forward. Why would they hold that information in? And just to put yourself in our shoes, if you have a heart. It's very frustrating because you don't know if you're walking amongst um, the people that did it. Closure for his three girls. They would know what their dad's final moments were like and what happened to them, what happened to them. And a chance at easing this nightmare. I think about it every day. I still hear the screams of my niece and my daughter in my head. Were you around the Park Hill housing complex during the early morning of June 4th, 2017? Have you heard anything since that could lead to answers? Witnesses possibly remember seeing more than one person, but police have no suspects. Information into crime stompers could change things. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Heather Fontaine. Remember, Crime Stoppers is also anonymous. You can call them. Their number is 582-CLUE, CLUE, and if it leads to an arrest, you could be rewarded with up to $1,000 in cash.